morning everybody this is Jean here just a very uh quick little video <laughs> for me right um I'm I'm just wanting to clear a few things up about free motion quilting my free motion quilting um the last video or so whenever it was um I was posting a picture of me quilting my circle quilt um that you've seen me in the process of making um, and I had put it out there, how was I going to quilt this thing? Well, Jen, Jen, my friend Jen, she's like, oh, do your circles, do your circles, do your circles. So I'm doing my circles on my quilt, which I, which I quite actually like. I'm um, free motion quilting. Um, if you watch the video, I'm free motion quilting around each one of the circles. And then, or if it's a quarter circle, I'm just circling. I'm doing a, around the satin stitch. And then I'm doing it about an inch into the satin stitch on the curve. And then another inch um, and then if it's a three-quarter circle I'm doing the exact same thing so my circles my applique circles on my quilt are different from my background which are just uh, are just small circles they're not pebbles I'm not doing tiny tiny little pebbles I'm doing a, 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 a circle about that big and then attached to maybe a, a, a little bit smaller but not tiny and it's working up very, very quickly. Now, I was watching this in bed with my, my video, <laughs> in bed with my husband. And it was so funny. He, he's tired after the day, right? And, I'm, and it's, well, it was about 15 minutes long with my music playing in the background. Because I come in my sewing room, it's just me. Just me, as you know, it's me and my camera and my music, right? So I thought, oh, I'll just put, I'll put it up because people seem to enjoy it. Well, he's watching. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I, you know, he's like, I look over, and I'm like watching me, I'm watching my, you know, free motion quote. I look over, and he's asleep. I'm like, what? I'm like, you know, I'm like, what the heck? You know, like, wake up. He goes, oh, it's so relaxing, right? And I'm like, I, I said, I, I started looking at the comments. Oh, that looks so relaxing. Oh, you make it so, it looks so easy. You make, you make free motion quilting look so easy I could never do that and I'm watching my video through your eyes then and I thought I make it look so easy and I look like I'm just like oh la di da di da and that's a bit misleading I want you to know that's a bit misleading I don't know I don't know um why am I doing, why am I making this video? I want you to know that free motion quilting isn't easy. It's not an easy skill to master. Um, especially, I've been told a million times, without using gloves. Now, um, so this little video, just for a few minutes, is just about my free motion quilting experience. And perhaps that it, it could help you or not. I don't know, whatever. But like, why I, I can't use the gloves. I like to feel my fabric when I'm when I'm free motion quilting. I also don't use anything slippy slidey. I've I've buffed up my um I I, I did use a um I should shouldn't say that I did use a silicone spray when I first got my juki and I sprayed my, my bed, my extension bed. Um so it's fairly slippery, but I've done nothing else to it. Now people say I can't get my fabric to move like you do. Well, um, again, I'm not, I'm, I, 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 looking at my video, <laughs> listen to me, that, 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 <laughs> I look like my hands are just like, oh, la di da If this makes any sense whatsoever, if you free motion quilted, you will know that I've addressed this before. All of a sudden, you're, you're like, you know, your neck is up around, your shoulders are up around your neck, right? And you got this tension here, and you got the tension in the back of your neck. Well, I had that forever. I really did. And I've learned it, through free motion quilting now for years. I've, I've told you this before. Lower those shoulders. Roll your neck. And if this makes any sense, I channel all of this energy, all of this stress right here at my fingers. Out into my, into my arms, through, down through my arms and into my hands and through my fingers and that way and I'm, I'm conscious of that because I can I, I I'll tell you sometimes I'm like <laughs> trying to, and then I realize oh I've 
my energy, which I really believe in a lot. We, we do a lot of homeopathic and a lot of natural remedies in our family. And I really believe in the energy pathways in your body. Of course, of course, if you're not feeling well, you have zero energy. You know, you, 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 you have a headache. You can't even lift your head off of the pillow. Your energy pathways are blocked. So I feel that if you, if you're free motion quilting and the energy is all up here, or in your chest, or in your neck, or in your head, in your brain. It's not coming out your fingers. So I really think, you know, make a conscious effort. Well, I'm, no, I'm no super person. I'm no superwoman. I'm just like, my energy is in my hands. And I'm making it look easy. And I was watching my video. I'm thinking, it's not that easy. Why, Gina, are you making it look easy? So what I'm saying is, don't be discouraged. It took me, it took me, it took me about a year of practice, practice, practice. And my first stitches, I would be like, Wah! and and I'd have like a million stitches in one, one inch, right, right? I'm like, the me me needle's not moving, you know? Or the needle's moving, the needle was going too fast, or my foot pedal was going too slow, or my hands were going all over the place. And, and or then I'd skip a million stitches and I'd have like one stitch in an inch. You get it, right? That's exactly what's happening to you, right? And it's discouraging. Well, practice, practice, practice. I keep telling you that, but some of the hints, um, don't quilt when you're tired. Don't, don't. You have to be in a good frame of mind. You have to be relaxed. I put on my music. Don't put on like heavy, you know, beat music because you know, you're going, ah. I put on my soothing music. Um, I like to, somebody said they like to hear me hum. I like to hum along. And then again, I'm concentrating on my needle. And I'm, I'm using my machine as a paintbrush. And so, again, if it's a mental picture. You know, you're not like sewing a project. Get that. Like, you're painting with your thread. You're painting. And your needle is your brush. That sounds, again, that sounds so airy-fairy. But I think to become proficient in free motion quilting, you have to have a different mindset. Because you're doing a, a totally different skill than, a, you know, a... a doing a quarter inch seam, you know, um, or, or foundation piecing, you're putting on a totally different foot. Um, somebody had asked, quite a few people had asked, what is the settings, the settings on my machine? I have, I'm using the TL 2200 QVP Mini. That's my sewing machine. It is, a, it is, as you know, it is just a straight stitch, just a straight stitch. It goes forward and backwards. And it drops the feed dogs, the little teeth that hold the fabric going in a straight line. You get rid of them. I, I put my stitch length to zero. And I have a, um, I can, uh, this is either a jeans or a top stitch needle. I find a top stitch needle um, even better than a jeans needle. Although, although this might be a jeans needle because if you saw the construction of my circle quilt here, you know that I had, I don't cut away the applique on the back and some of my seams are heavier because of the construction method. That's in the previous videos. My, my quilt is nice and substantial. So you need a heavier, longer eye needle. When you're looking at needles, the, the trick to not, to ha not having your thread shred. Oh, I'm using, oh, you oh, I'll do, I'll address that. The trick to having your thread not shred is a larger eye on your needle. So you need a large eye needle. You need no stitch length. I have it threaded, my machine threaded exactly. Now I've not touched this presser foot, uh, press, pressure foot thing on my machine. I just have it set. I have my free motion quilting foot put on it. Some have a hopping foot, an attachment. I don't like them. I had one of that on my uh, brother, my Husqvarna. It was making me like, ah, oh, the, the, the foot was going up and down. This one just stays, as, as you could see in the, my previous video. It just stays, and my needle's going up and down. The trick is, and as I was trying to teach Jen how to free motion quilt, she's pretty much got it fairly quickly. Um, again, her energy coming out her fingers is a consistent, a consistent um, foot pedal, brain pedal, and finger pedal, and needle pedal. There are a lot of things you have to consider. And uh, that's why I suggest, don't start on a little piece of fabric. As I was telling Jen, go get a, a $7 panel, 
or get a, a get a not um, a, not necessarily a sheet because sheets are woven a little bit. You can do a sheet, an old sheet with backing and a, sh and a, a batting and a, the backing, but sheets are woven slightly different. Um, so I suggest, that, and every machine is different. Oh, I have to tell you, I got discouraged. I was using this thread. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is sulky, 100% viscose rayon. Now, I, was, I use this rayon in my embroidery machine. It, does, it embroiders beautifully, again, with a larger eye needle. Now, I was, and, and I'm, on, I'm only using this thread here on my cotton quilt. I always use cotton thread because it's a beautiful variegated thread. I have a YLI thread, variegated thread, cotton, but I didn't have this colorway. This, the, on this quilt, I'm using this. It's like a, a yellow to a, 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 a gold. That's what I'm using to quilt, a variegated. Um, it, 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 it's about every 12 or 20 inches or so. It changes the color gradually. And I, was, I just went shopping in my room, and this is what I found. Um, it's a rail thread, but it's a, nice, it's a nice strong thread. It's fine. But like, and, oh, and then I have um, a 50 weight Aurifil white bobbin, a white thread in my bobbin. And everybody, and I, everybody was like, what, you know, suggesting the colors. On the back of my quilt, again, you can see on my, um, on my other video, I've used white, right? I always use white, but it's pretty. I like it because it's, it, it's, it's like looking like galaxies and planets. And you can see, even though my, my backing is this, um, this green and bright yellow and the, the red fa uh, sky fabric, you can see my beautiful um, circles. And, and I quite like that in the white and it blends beautifully. So anyway, if that's, oh, um, again, um, just for, just a few people were asking about my, I'll just address everything. My machine, um, I have these, they're called floral tattoos and I got them at www.urbanelements with a Z, U-R-B-A-N-E-L-E-M T E N Z. I'll type it on the on the thing there. UrbanElements.com. They're rub-on decals, real pretty, and they have a whole bunch of different ones. Make your make your sewing machine pretty. And again, it's all about um, coming in and trying to enjoy yourself. Don't get frustrated. Somebody said they wanted to throw their machine out the way, or their their machine was giving them gray hair. I'm like, oh, I've had so much gray hair. I'm completely gray. Actually, I'm completely white. Um, I I color my hair almost every week. Um, it 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 can be very frustrating free motion quilting um uh, as jen was finding out like ah uh, but with practice 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 and all i can say is don't stop stop quilting here stop quilting with your neck stop quilting with your shoulders make a conscious effort to lower and all of that energy into your hands because you're going to need it you're going to need it like as i said I, I was watching and i'm like it's not that easy why am i making it look easy <laughs> And it's not that, it is relaxing now for me. I can come in, um, but sometimes there's like a lump on a seam and I'm like, oh, <laughs> trying to get over that lump or something. But I, look, I make it look so easy. So I, I think I'm having to apologize for that because I don't want you to get discouraged. I don't want you to get discouraged. What I do want you to do, even as beginner beginners, and I've said this a thousand times, is try to perfect free motion quilting. I am quilting this large, this really good size quilt. Again, I'm quilting it in my, in my room here, right? No big deal. Um, I'm quilting this large quilt. I didn't stitch it in the ditch. You know, I, if I had a million rows o over in the corner. I, I just started in the corner with my circles. I like my circles on, on certain things. And it's wor it works up so fast. You can cover and quilt a quilt so very quickly with free motion quilting. And again, this quilt is quilted, I would say every um, inch and a half to two inches apart. Again, consistency. I did, I am, I am being consistent, fairly consistent with the quilt. Um, you don't want, you don't want, you know, um, you know, you don't want that much of a gap and then you have little tiny things. Then your quilt ends up a little bit nasty unless you want a real puffy area which you don't quilt. But um, uh, this is how I'm quilting it. The, uh, there's just a few things. Again, I, I, I suppose I'm apologizing for making it look easy. I, as I said, I was watching my video. I'm like, wow, I do. 
all the comments, oh, you make that look so easy. It's not an easy skill, but one that you can and should perfect. It'll open up your whole quilting world. I, I really mean that. And it will take a lot of, uh, a lot of maybe practice pieces. And I, I say, go, <clears throat> Joanne Fabrics are online, get a $7 panel, seven or $8 panel, a hunk of batting and a backing. And that way, if you mess up, well, you can, you can don't not if you, you can donate it, but like you could, you could donate it to someone who would be grateful for it. And so your kids, stitches are skipped, whatever, you know, you're practicing. And every time you practice, you're going to get a little bit better. So that's that. I'm going to work on my quilt today. Um, I'm quilting circles and circles and circles. I'm going to put on my music. <laughs> I'm along. And um, yeah, so that, just a few little tips. If it helps, quilt with your fingers, quilt with your hands and feel it and just relax and try to enjoy it. And um, yeah, that's that for today. Okay, thanks folks, see ya, bye.